morning, everybody. At least it's morning where I am here in Ottawa on an overcast. And I understand it's cold. I haven't checked the temperature yet this morning, but I heard it was going to be like minus 40 or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, I'm toasty warm in my snug little condo. Um, and today I wanted to do a post completion review of the uh, poppies with crystal drills. So um, I'm gonna link the unboxing video up here and I'm also going to link the, um, well, I thought it was gonna be the first drill and chat, but it was the only drill and chat. So you'll find that here as well um, if you wanna just work through it. The drill and chat talks, you know, uh, I talk about how much I love, love, love working on this thing. Um, and so I'm not going to repeat everything I said there, but um, I am going to show you the, uh, the, final, the final diamond painting, and I want you to see the sparkle. It, it is pretty sparkly, um, and I don't know if I was hoping for a sunny day, when I heard it was going to be so cold, I thought, oh, that means it's going to be low pressure and it'll be sunny and it'll be a lovely, bright day and the sun will just, you know, blind us all uh, off these diamonds. But that's not happening. Um, but I do want you to see just how pretty this is. Um, I don't know, maybe if I shone a... Let me try the light on my camera. Just a second. Oh, that, okay. That, that, that helps. That helps. Um, so I had a blast working on this, an absolute blast. And you know, I I I, I go on about it in uh, in the video that uh, that I did the drill and chat. Um, and it was a quick one because it's it's only, jeez, I think it's a forty by fifty, thirty by forty. Can't remember. Uh, I'll, I'll post the information, um, either in the description or I'll insert a title card. If I insert a title card, it'll be here. Um, okay, so uh, I loved this. I loved working on this. And I'm looking at it now and I'm loving the sparkle of it. Um, I would highly recommend it to anybody who has seen either my video or Natalia's video uh, I know there are other videos out there of people who have done this this diamond painting and um, and I think we've all pretty much enjoyed it. Uh, so if you've never done a crystal diamond painting, I will tell you a few things about this one that uh, came as a surprise to me. So I'm going to get in really, really close. So you can see that the drills are not the same faceted drills as um, our regular diamond paintings, uh, like round diamond paintings. They don't have, uh, they don't have the multi, well, they don't have the facets cut into them. So essentially they're round and they have a flat top and, you know, light sparkles off the top and then they have like a rhinestone coating on the bottom. I'll show you, uh, I'll show you that in just a moment. Um, and so that was interesting. And so that means that, you know, the number six, which was black, let me find some. Um, so there are some, in there. there's, I think there's quite an area of them down here. Anyway, the number six, which was black, I would say that's a 310. I can't mix it with my other 310s because the diamonds are just not the same shape. Um, the, the black was the only color that, uh, was not um, a rhinestone gem, uh, so with silvering on the back. Um, and as I'm going through here, I did this mostly in the evenings because I find now I shoot videos and see people, uh, you know, live a life in the, in the daytime. Um, and, and then I work late into the night on diamond painting. Um, so what I found was, because I was working in the dark, um, I had light coming from above and my light pad because some of the symbols I found were a little bit hard to read. Uh, I'm going to get my notes. All right, so I got my drills 
which I'll show you in a moment. And I got my notes, which I won't show you. Uh, okay, so I'll just do a quick recap here. Crystal Poppies, I started it on January 13th, and I finished it on January 17th. So I did it in sections of three inches at a time. Uh, so I think there was one, two, three, four. I think there were four sections, four, maybe five sections. Um, and as I mentioned in the unbox, uh, in the drill with me video, I started doing it with multi placers because I wanted to practice using uh, multi placers um, because I want to do my diamond paintings. I want to get through them, and I've watched enough multi placer tutorial videos that um, oh my god, I'm looking at this and it's sparkling like diamonds. I hope you get that effect, um, but I I doubt. I'm not sure that you do because I'm looking through the viewfinder and it's just, it's not sparkling as much. But anyway, that's that's your loss. Um, it was so beautiful and I was enjoying so much seeing the diamonds go by, go down, that I decided I didn't want to use the multi-placer. I wanted to place every diamond individually. And I'm glad I did because it did stretch it out for, you know, four or five days. Um, uh, and I found, okay, that... Um, a couple of the uh, couples, a couple of the colors of drills were very um, staticky, and uh, I found also that for those, for some reason, rolling them in a dryer sheet wasn't as helpful as they would be with regular resin uh, diamonds. But that didn't, you know, prevent me from finishing the painting, and it just meant that you know they were they were staticky. Um, now the glue did not seem like the, the adhesive on these canvases. This was a plastic covered canvas. And as many of you know, the, the adhesive feels different on a, on a plastic covered canvas. And um, it seemed like it wasn't super sticky, but I don't think I have to worry about any diamonds coming loose on this. I mean, oh, one came loose, but that was the one, uh, I think that was the one down here by my finger. Anyway, I'll find I'll find the home for that one. Um, yeah, I'll find the home for that one. But it will be my example of what a drill looks like. So this is a drill for a crystal painting for any of you who have not done a crystal painting. And um, on the back, you get uh, this silvering, okay, that that provides the rhinestone effect, and then. Wow, this is really weird. Proprioception doesn't work as well when you're looking through a canvas or through a camera and your hands are in a different place than you feel them. Anyway, it, it's very, it's like, it's like looking through glasses that have prisms in them. Your body's, your body parts are not where you think they are. Okay. Anyway, uh, enough of that. Um, so, so that that's what gives the the shininess to this um and i will i will not touch my painting anymore um but only one diamond came loose and i was i was i was shaking it pretty hard um and i was not being gentle with it because you know it's it's a diamond painting it's it's not a baby um and anyway, so what else did I make note of here? Uh, didn't help much. Uh, the glue doesn't seem super sticky, but it is super sticky. Um, there were, okay, I used a pick-me-up pen. And this was the first diamond painting that I did exclusively with the pick-me-up pen. And um, I found the goop on the pick-me-up pen is stickier than goop than the, the the pink wax and um and so i actually had to learn a different technique of the angle that i put the drills in that i that i attach the drills to the pen and that i put them on the canvas because uh what was happening until i got that technique was that i was actually um Pulling the can like I'd stick them to the canvas, and then when I pulled the pen away, the diamond would come with it. And on one occasion, and it was only one occasion, the diamond came up, but the silvering on the back stayed on the canvas. So I had to scrape that off, and luckily that did not damage the canvas at all. 
um, and I was able to stick another diamond on it. Although maybe it was in the place where this one came loose because um, I know I did lose some adhesive uh, in that place. So anyway, just a, a little bit of a, a, a warning if, uh, if you do plan on using a pick-me-up pen. Um, on this canvas, and of course now they're all covered up, there were no circles for placing the drills. Uh, and I know that some people like circles. I found that I actually liked it better without circles. Um, okay, I'm going to just put this here so that I can show you. I think, like, I, I was making pretty straight lines, and there are no circles uh, that I was, you know, aligning my drills to. And... Um, and so there's no little bits of black circles that I have to worry about covering up afterwards. Oh, there, I just found where the uh, drill came from. Um, oh, and there's, okay, so there's, an, there's another, I, all right, I'm gonna be very careful with this because I did loosen some drills. Um, and, uh, you know, all, all in the, the name of public service announcements here. Uh, okay, so I, I will need to be a little bit careful with this. And I have not rolled it yet, so I, I need to use my roller on it. Um, anyway, I can't remember what I was saying. Oh my God, what was I saying? Okay, so when I was shaking it, uh, a few drills did come loose. So that is a warning. And uh, what that's telling me is that I will be, <sighs> I am hesitant to seal a crystal painting. Um, Maybe what I'll do is I'll just seal like a tiny little bit down here and and see if it diminishes the sparkle. And if it doesn't diminish the sparkle, then I will seal the whole thing. Um, because it does concern me that um, some of the drills are coming loose. I mean, yeah, I was I was I was treating it like a gorilla treats, you know, a Samsonite suitcase. But, um, and that, you know, hopefully will never happen again. Okay, and I have to pick off cat hair and things like that too because I'm finding here little bits of cat hair. I do my best to keep the cats off the painting uh, and I clean my workspace multiple times a day to prevent, you know, a buildup of cat hair. But, you know, it's in the air. So, all right, I'll have to pick that off. Um, yeah, so what else was I saying? No little circles, but that was not a problem. Um, I don't think there was too much more. Um, okay, so there are, there's number five and there's number six. So let me just show you what number five and six are. Oops. Okay, so number six is the black drills. I call them black because uh, they don't give me DMC numbers. And number six are these brown drills. Um, they are uh, rhinestones. And um, let me show you an area where there's fives and sixes. So in this area here, you see the six, that's this black, and then you see the fives. Um, they're quite distinguishable in terms of uh, the actual colors on the canvas, but I found that the symbols on the the symbols on the canvas um, were hard to tell apart when the five and six symbols weren't right together, um, because a five and a six it's just the shape of them. They look very similar, and the colors are both the two darkest colors. And so, anyway, I just found it hard, and I actually had to use, for the first time in probably two months, I had to use a magnifying glass at times to be able to distinguish the five from the six. Um, so that was the worst thing about working on this diamond painting. And to me, that is not, on the scale of bad things, that is not a bad thing. Uh, let's see what else. Okay, so one of the other things, because I was not, and this is the last thing, um, 
because this was my first diamond painting, I didn't realize the kinds of imperfect drills there are. So let me just show you here because I, I know that I do have some up in the top because I didn't really realize that they weren't supposed to be like that. Um, let me find some. So I'm looking for, okay, here, here. You see the, the two orange drills and then you see the golden drills around them and then you see this one in the middle. Uh, I'm trying to put it right in the center of the screen. And it is not like the others, okay? And I'm gonna show you what that drill actually looks like. And I believe that is a D. Uh, yeah, okay. So, oh, okay. I have to go to the trash. Okay, so before I show you that, I will show you the trash bucket. So this is all the trash from this diamond painting, okay? Uh, all the trash so far, because I will be picking off the imperfect drills that I hadn't realized were imperfect when I started working on this. Um, so there will be a little bit more trash. And as I mentioned in the Drill With Me video, um, mostly they are diamonds where the silvering was applied to the top of the diamond. Uh, I've, got, I've got a few that are showing up there uh, now. And then the other thing, and the ones that caused those uh, imperfections that I was just pointing out on the canvas there, um, those are, you see, the, you see that um, concave diamond there? Uh, there are quite a few of these concave diamonds and what happens with those is uh, it gives a complete different depth of effect. And, uh, and so, yeah, I'll be replacing all of those. And there were quite a lot of them, quite a lot. And I think I was at least a third done the painting when I realized, wait a minute, they shouldn't look like that. Um, at first, I kind of liked it because it gave a like it gave a further depth to the painting itself because there was that variation in drills of the same color. But now I'm thinking, I have so many spare drills, I'm gonna go and replace it all, okay? So there's that. And then the other issue was uh, drills that, and there weren't too many of them, but there were a few, like that uh, yellow one, I think it's that yellow one at the top there. Um, they're just clear plastic, there's no silvering attached to them. So I pulled those off whenever I came across them. Um, but anyway, there was a lot of trash for the size of the painting. But that's okay because um, this here is my remainders. So these are all my leftovers. So of the ones, I have all these leftover drills. Of the twos, not quite as many. You know, there's they gave me tons of extra drills for every color. There was one color that I was thinking, well, I'm not sure I'm going to have enough. But um, yeah, this one here, I think, was the one that I... No, there was one more that had uh, fewer drills. But you see, I had I had lots and lots and lots of extra drills for every for every color. Um, I think that was the smallest number of spares that I had. But look at this. I mean, there's this thing holds about, I don't know, I can, I can put 600 drills in here. And um, that's got to be 300 spare drills there. Uh, and then there's these. I also don't have a whole lot of those. But that's still probably 75 or 100 extra drills. And then, and then there's these. So I was pretty happy with that. Um, so overall, I would have to say that this was a win. Um, I loved everything about this diamond painting. It was so much fun to work on. It looks fantastic. Um, even though, you know, it's not a huge one, but it looks terrific in my opinion. I will be framing this one. Uh, the sparkle is outstanding and I got it for a reasonable price so all of that together um, would definitely recommend so um, that's it for this video I hope you enjoy it 
Um, let me know if you do any comments that you might have. You know, if you if it if it bothered you to see me shaking my painting around like I did, um, let me know. <laughs> Because I bet you that upsets some people, um, but you know what? I mean, I've done it. The fun, the fun of doing it is is over, and I know that I can stick back on any drills that come off. I I knew I wasn't going to rip the canvas or anything, so like it's no biggie. Um, anyway, so there you go. Uh, I hope you like it. Let me know. Give me comments. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Whoop, thumbs up if you're. Uh, if you're of a like mind that this is uh, something that you would uh, like to do or if you like the video or you like me being stupid or something. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, that's okay. Keep coming back anyway. All right, you guys, I'll, uh, I'll uh, be coming back at you with other videos uh, shortly, okay? Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.